Hey traders, Mike Sir here. Welcome back to my How to Trade Like video series where I teach you how to trade like the top traders in the world. Now in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to trade like Paul Tudor Jones. And in my opinion, Paul is one of the greatest traders in the world. And it's not really because he made the most money, but rather how he thinks the market. So in this video, I'm gonna break down how Paul approaches the market and a fundamental and technical analysis point of view on how he determines how to trade. Now make sure you stay until the end of the video as I'll share with you one powerful trader mindset from Paul Tudor Jones. So let's get started. First off, I wanna be clear that Paul is not a day trader or a swing trader, but rather what I call a positional trader. So a little bit longer time frame. Now he's also not known to be like a stock picker, but rather he likes to trade the overall market indices commodities, bonds, or currencies. And he looks to identify longer term trends in these asset classes and utilizes both macroeconomic analysis and technical analysis to determine what to trade. Now, for those who don't know what macro analysis is, it's the study of economic factors such as interest rates, inflation, and monetary policy that can have a significant impact on the direction of the markets. A good example was last year when he warned that the U.S. economy was already in a recession and that the U.S. stock market had more room to follow. Now, the two key economic data that he was looking at was inflation and interest rates. Here's a chart of the U.S. inflation rate, and you can see from the big purple arrow that the prices of goods and services have skyrocketed from near zero levels in May 2020 to as high as 9% in June 2022. Now currently it's at 6.5%, but could continue to stay at these high elevated levels. And you can see that the prices of basic groceries have gotten more expensive at the supermarket, and this is hurting consumers. Now the US Federal Reserve wants to tackle inflation and bring it back to the 2% target by raising interest rates, but this might be a challenge. Here you can see that the rates have risen sharply starting at the beginning of 2022 from near zero levels to now 4.5%. Now it's expected that the interest rates will continue going higher, probably to the five to 6% level, unless inflation tapers down. Now the biggest signal that Paul sees that the US stock market may be in trouble was the rapid rise in inflation, which has led the Federal Reserve to its most aggressive tightening monetary policy since the 1980s. Now for us to trade like Paul, we need to monitor if inflation can head lower and lead to a slowdown in interest rate hikes. Now, if that's the case, then we can feel more confident that the markets can go back up. Now, besides macroeconomic indicators, he utilizes technical analysis to try to time the markets. Now, specifically, one technical indicator that he uses is the 200-day moving average. And let me show you how he uses it. So here's a chart of the S&P 500 index, which is a good barometer of the U.S. stock market. Now, the line in blue is the 200-day moving average, which is an average of prices over a 200-day time period. Now, there's a key metric that Paul follows to tell him whether the US stock market trend is up or down. And you can see that the S&P 500 index started falling below the 200-day moving average in January of 2022 and has stayed below since April 2022. Now, in early 2022, it basically told him to sell out all of his positions in the US stock market and start looking to short the US stock market. And based on the current market in early 2023, the 200 day moving average tells him to stay short. Let me end this video with a quote from Paul Tudor Jones. You have to be able to take the punches and you have to be able to dish them out. You have to be able to take the losing trades and the losing periods. And you have to be able to take the pressure of being in a position. So this quote by Paul highlights the importance of being able to handle the emotional ups and downs of trading and being able to stay calm and focused under pressure. 
Now he emphasized that a trader must have the ability to handle losing trades and losing periods and not let it affect their overall performance. If you like this how to trade like top traders in the world video series, please smash that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Next week, I will be teaching you how to trade like Dan Zanger.